Yo, what is up, guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We're back with another fragrance review right here, guys. And today, I will be talking about pretty much the most hyped fragrance right now. I mean, everyone wants to know about this fragrance. A lot of people already blind bought it. But of course, with that comes the no hype stuff. Everyone has been asking me what my thoughts are on this latest Parfums de Marly fragrance. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys. Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel. Guys, we are headed towards 18,000. So please support the channel by liking and subscribing and watching the ads. And I also want to thank Donna from Parfums de Marly in New York. She was pretty sneaky right there because she said I was going to get this four to five days later. I woke up and this package was overnighted from New York. So I want to say thanks to Donna. If you want to order your PDM, call the New York Boutique and order from her. And the fragrance that we will be talking about today is none other than Parfums de Marly. Althair, yes, Althair by Parfums de Marly, the long-awaited. Everybody is asking me about this one. This fragrance is obviously the 2023 fall-winter release of Parfums de Marly. And what can I say about this house right here? Amazing house. They really don't release a lot of fragrances, but when they do, people are always ready for it. The radars are on. Everybody is ready to blind buy because a lot of people really trust this brand when they make these releases. I mean, ever since Pegasus Exclusive, all the way to Haltan, and then this one, a lot of people were just like, dude, screw it, I'll just blind buy this thing because I know it's gonna be usable, it's gonna be sexy, it's gonna be likable, and in my opinion, that's really the character of almost every PDM fragrance. Now, this fragrance, Althair, obviously comes in an orange bottle, kind of like a sunset bottle, signaling the fall-winter season, in my opinion. Kind of looks like a pumpkin spice bottle as well and of course a lot of people are curious what this smells like because it contains a lot of notes that we are all pretty much familiar with from cinnamon to cardamom to some resins to vanilla and then eventually umbrox in there there's a lot of notes right here that we're familiar with but of course I'm pretty sure you guys know that they're not just gonna give us something predictable so let's go spray this thing right now so I can give you guys the lowdown Mm. Okay guys, now let's talk about the opening of PDM Althair guys. So right here in the opening notes, you are going to get bergamot, orange blossom, cinnamon, and cardamom guys, okay? Again, all these notes we pretty much know, they're very, very likable notes. But here's the thing guys, Parfums de Marly, I think they know that a lot of their fragrances are going to be judged by the opening, not the mid, not the dry down, because the opening is that first impact when you spray this fragrance, not only for the user, but for all the people around you. This opening right here to me, like I said on my first impressions video, is that this opener is not redundant, you know, and the reason why is because you have cardamom and cardamom is the strongest spice in the opener of this fragrance. I know a lot of y'all were looking at the cinnamon as probably the thing that makes it sweet and spicy in the beginning, but actually when you spray this fragrance from the get-go, it is that green spice from cardamom that makes it, I think in my opinion, pretty masculine and spicy. And then it is backed up by that cinnamon, guys. But the sweetness, the sweetness, the lingering sweetness from this opening actually comes from the orange blossom in this fragrance, guys, okay? So it's orange blossom as the lingering, uplifting, sweet part of the opener. And then you have a mix of grounded green cardamom spice, very masculine. And then you have the secondary one, which is going to be your cinnamon spice, sweet and spicy, and then orange blossom. This opening right here, guys, will be kind of different, kind of like a little twist, a little modification to something you guys already know. Definitely, it's going to be sweet and spicy. It will be mainstream lovable. But I like how that orange blossom provides a sweet, uplifting waft the moment you spray this fragrance. Then it also has a draw in from cinnamon and cardamom spice. I think that the bergamot here is going to be very, very minimal. 
but if it helps make that twist i guess that's what it does but to me that's what it is it's going to be uplifting orange blossom sweet with cardamom spice being very masculine and then cinnamon spice kind of like underlying from that now this opening combo lasts about 45 minutes to an hour guys and after 45 minutes the cinnamon starts to reveal itself. So the first part is actually like an hour of something different, guys, okay? But then afterwards, as the cardamom and the orange blossom kind of like, you know, peel back, you are gonna get cinnamon getting stronger. And then the cinnamon note is going to be your bridge note into the vanilla, okay? So it's gonna be the bridge into the vanilla one hour into this fragrance. So you are gonna get that unique uh, uplifting spicy intro for about an hour and then you're gonna get cinnamon that bridges into vanilla now so far from a lot of preliminary data a lot of people that have tried this have said that the vanilla here is a prominent part of this fragrance I mean yes that is true but to me the opening is something I really really like it's very unique it's very masculine it's very sexy and draw in but the vanilla of course is something that everybody loves I think whether you're a guy or a girl a nice vanilla fragrance will really you know hit the spot for y'all and i would say that this vanilla starts like i said one hour in as the cinnamon bridges into the vanilla and then you are going to get a nice high quality woody vanilla note right here in the mid again starts an hour in and then this part actually to me lasts up to the fourth hour of this fragrance so if you are a big vanilla lover especially like a woody vanilla mix then I think you're gonna like this part because you will get it for three hours or so of this nice, beautiful vanilla. Again, this is something that I'm not new uh, to when it comes to Parfums de Marly fragrances. Usually the intro is impactful and then they kind of double it up by giving the people basically mainstream lovable notes in the mid and the dry down. And that's exactly what Althair does with a really nice, sweet, creamy, woody vanilla right here in the mid. Now, the thing about this vanilla is that it is a bourbon vanilla accord, guys, okay? So it's not just pure vanilla. So you are gonna get kind of like this burnt sugar smell, this comforting sugary smell. Go in with that vanilla, and then I would say two hours in, the resins actually get stronger. So it's like LME resin right here in the mid. Again, it's a woody vanilla mix, a little sugary, and it will last you guys for the next three hours. Again, beautiful, mainstream, lovable mid. I think unisex too, especially I think the ladies who love vanilla will quite enjoy this mid right here of Althair. Okay guys, now let's go into the dry down of Althair. And the star of the show of the dry down is praline. Yes, it's praline. This confectionery product that's usually in chocolates, this praline smells like a dry, hazelnut burnt sugar accord guys basically and praline is going to be your bridge from the mid into the dry down and it's going to be the most dominant note in the dry down in my opinion guys and praline right here man it is nice but the thing i want to say and this is something our subscribers or one of our subscribers actually brought up was that a lot of people are saying that there's a tobacco tobacco vanille tobacco vanilla combination mix somewhere here in Althair. and i think it's because of that praline mixed with that Gaillac wood, okay? So Gaillac wood does provide a smoky type of wood. And when it's mixed with the praline, yes, there is kind of like a tobacco effect going on right here. Not too smoky, but there is something like that for sure. So for fans of Tom Ford's tobacco vanille, I'm not saying it's tobacco vanille, but there is gonna be a point where the vanilla and the praline and the Gaia converges together and you pretty much get something like that. That is for sure, guys. And again, this praline dominates the dry down, creates a sweet burnt sugar tobacco-like effect with that Gaia wood. And then you are going to get the backup of Ambroxan, guys, okay? So Ambroxan is pretty much one of the backup notes right here. I think that it makes the uh, part here, the dry down part, pretty much musky and woody headed into the dry down like a gradient guys but again it's going to be sweet dry uh praline here in the dry down now how long does the praline last here guys it lasts until the end honestly guys and the only thing is that on the late late dry down it gets woodier and muskier 
with Ambroxan and Musk together basically still maintaining the sweetness but I would say the praline is right here till the end guys okay so it's a beautiful dry down a nice gradient burnt sugar tobacco like dry down with the Ambroxan right there and so I would say though that for the Ambroxan fans the Ambroxan here is just a backup note okay that's one thing because I know some of y'all might be expecting a powerful woody musky Ambroxan but no praline is still the strongest note right here in the dry down so just to let you know it's just a backup note right here now another fragrance that's comparable to this fragrance out there that's not tobacco vanille in my opinion is Grand Soie okay Grand Soie by MFK and I have a full bottle of that that fragrance I mean, it's supposed to be something really, really predictable. Labdanum, amber, benzoin. But the way that it's formulated, it's like it has a twist right there, you know? It has a little twist with the lavender, with the labdanum. And so that's why, in my opinion, a lot of people like Grand Soie because it's like a pre supposedly a predictable fragrance, but it's not, okay? But comparable to this, I would say that Althair has something as well that's pretty linked to that. It's like vanilla, it's like cinnamon, a lot of things that we already know. But Parfums de Marly, they were able to make some slight modifications and twists in the opening with the cardamom, in the end with the praline and the bourbon vanilla to kind of twist this a little bit, make this something new for seasoned collectors of fragrances and for those that are looking for something different altogether. Now compared to Grand Soie, I would say that Grand Soie is for those that are looking for something like ultra classy, kind of different, you know, again, this is based on a grand ballroom. So you can, you know, pretty much see that guys when it comes to the concept. But this one right here, Althair, although there has been some twists here, I would say that Althair is going to maintain the PDM character. I mean, that's what it does. All PDMs to me are pretty much usable, mainstream, lovable. You're going to get a full bottle because you're really going to wear it a lot. It's sexy. It's inviting. Almost all PDMs are like that to me. And I would say that this fragrance, difference with Grand Soie, is that Grand Soie is more for the artistry uh, side of perfume. This one right here is more for the usable. I'm going to get my attraction game going on with this fragrance right here. Now, total longevity to me is up to 11 hours. I would say the strong side of this fragrance, again, on four sprays, lasted to me 10 to 11 hours. And 11 to 12 or even more than that is your sticky sweetness right here in the end, but it's going to be a skin scent, okay? But it is a very decent fragrance, very thick very consistent over time guys like i said and so longevity to me is really good and again that nice draw in sillage is really important to me and that's what this does perfect for the fall winter season okay guys now let's answer the question is this fragrance unisex or is it really just for men because this fragrance out there comes in the masculine bottle of pdm now let me say this the intro is to me more masculine okay again with the cardamom dominating the space in the beginning i felt that it was a lot more masculine but here's the thing the opening only lasts an hour and a lot of women actually like cardamom and that's also blended in with that orange blossom but i would say past that you only have an hour once the cinnamon kicks in and goes into that long coverage of vanilla I would say that it's unisex all the way till the end, guys, okay? Because you've got a long coverage of that bourbon vanilla. You've got praline in the end with some musks. I mean, I think it's unisex right there. I think the women will enjoy this fragrance as well if they're okay with that cardamom spice opening. Now, final question, is this fragrance full bottle worthy and where does it fit in my collection? First and foremost, yes, it is full bottle worthy. This is a fragrance that once the cold weather kicks in, you're gonna use, guys, okay? It's gonna be sweet and nice. I can just imagine myself wearing this in like a Thanksgiving dinner or on a date. This is gonna be a wonderful fall winter fragrance, guys. And where does it fit in your collection? Here's the thing. If you guys have a lot of cinnamon, vanilla fragrances, I suggest you try this first, okay? Just because you don't want to get some redundancy and that's because there are a lot of really good contenders as well on the cinnamon, vanilla stage. But again, this fragrance is all around likable, all around usable, and I think that it is a full bottle purchase worthy uh, type of fragrance 
for the fall winter season guys and that is it that is my review of parfums de marley Altair. let me know in the comments what you think if you've already tried this fragrance i know a lot of y'all have already ordered samples decants full bottles uh by now you would have tried it so let me know in the comments what you think and again i want to thank donna from the parfums de marley new york flagship store so if you're gonna order something, please call her up. I'm gonna put the number below and order from her. She's a lovely, lovely person. Thank you, Donna, for surprising me and overnighting this sample. So now everybody knows how awesome this fragrance is, guys. So until then, this is Troy D. Again, please do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless, take care, peace.